What's going on, YouTube family? It is your guy, I, Sills the Man, back at you with a late night edition episode. Haven't had one of these in a minute. I felt like it was just right, especially for tonight's topic, all right? So thank you for coming back to my videos. Thank you for your support, uh, your engagement, everything you do. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And in today's episode, I'm going to give y'all five signs that a guy is low-key feeling you. But first, let me start by saying, just because I give you these advices and hints, and my hints and advices are coming from a good place, does not, I repeat, does not mean that every guy that's giving you these signs are coming from a good place. You have to separate good intention and, and men who are seriously into you from plain old creeps. All right. So pay attention to that, because honestly, all these signs can be done by good, serious, intentional men. And they can also be done by creeps or dudes who just want to play with you or are up to no good. So use your judgment, use your common sense and protect yourself. All right. And before I start, once again, please subscribe. If you like my content, if you rock with seals, the man hit that red box below this video box that says subscribe. Make sure you comment engage with me tell me what you think tell everybody what you think and give signs that you recognize from men let's make this a uh, advice party all right let's get into it the first sign that a man is feeling you is that his consistency is evident it's apparent and it's constant with everything he does and say to you always trying to go out on a lunch date with you always finding a way to communicate with you he's always trying to find a way to strike a convo with you now realize the constant word in all those things i said always he's always consistent with his efforts with you i'm gonna tell you right now if a guy's not really into you he's not gonna be consistent with you you might have gaps in between your communications and your hangouts and and I'm talking long gaps, irregular gaps, but a guy who is low key into you is going to be consistent. I also want to say these signs are not guaranteed signs that a man is feeling you. So I don't want you to take it the wrong way if, if, uh, if a coworker or a business partner is giving you these signs. I don't want you getting the wrong impressions, but these are my favorite five signs for y'all to pay attention to. So the reason why a guy who is into you is always consistent is because men are hunters. We do not stop until we get what we want. We do not stop until we get what we need. And if he feels like he needs you, you are bringing a vibe and energy that he's never felt before. He is not going to stop until he gets you. Now, I also want to let you know, men who are low key into you, the key term low key, that's why I put in this title. When they are low key into you, they want to make sure that they are approaching you correctly, respectfully, and they're not trying to uh, come off uh, too strong. So they're being low key with themselves right now. They're trying to make sure that the energy is reciprocated in the way. If a guy who's constantly uh, you know, trying to communicate with you, he's always trying to, uh, to get with you, be in your space, if he notices that you're not giving him the same energy, then he's going to hopefully and most likely fall back. But this is his way to, to gauge how much you like him in return without him directly asking you. These are in the beginning stages of likeness. I also want y'all to understand it's very awkward. It's very scary for men to approach women these days, especially these days, because you have to be careful how you come at women, especially in places like workplaces. So guys like to be low key at first. Then when he feels the energy is reciprocated, then he takes it to the next level, which goes from low key to mid key. And of course, the, the highest key is the high key. But we, we talk about low key. All right. So, all right. His consistency is apparent with you. The next sign, the second sign that a man is low key feeling you, you beautiful woman, you beautiful spirit, you is that he makes a dedicated effort to find out, discover, and probe the things that make you tick. Your likes and your dislikes. What kind of lifestyle you live? Do, are you faith-based? Do you say tomato or tomato? Do you call it Taylor ham or pork roll? These are important things. So, when he's trying to figure out how you work, the things you like, 
and it has nothing to do with with whatever setting you two are in. For instance, like I said earlier, if you if you're working in the same work uh, or the same job or the the same organization, whatever it is, if it has nothing to do with whatever relationship y'all have at this place, then he's trying to find out who you are. It's this is uh, separated from what you two are doing. This is outside of that. So that means he's putting in effort to figure out who you are. And I strongly believe that effort means everything. Even if you've been with someone for 20 years, 10 years, it doesn't matter how long, effort shows initiation. It shows how much you want the person. So when he's asking questions outside of what you guys are doing in your setting, a dedicated effort, then that is a sign that he is low key feeling you. And I'm going to the third point. The third sign that he's low key feeling you is that he tries to find a way to get into your space, preferably invited, of course. When I say this, I, I don't mean a man who's all, all up in your face, slobbering down your, your, your leg almost, close enough to know what he ate for breakfast that morning. That's not what I'm saying. But that also goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video. You need to uh, separate creeps from men who are trying to get to know you because creeps will try to use this sign to just be creepy you'll know when a guy's being creepy by getting in your space that that's oh uh, those those are evident right but when a guy who is trying to figure you out who, who, a guy who low-key fills you he's always trying to get into your area he wants to be next to you he wants your presence to be combined with his presence he wants you to be in his presence he wants to share presence and this can come in many forms and fashions. One example is he leans when he's having a conversation with you, he leans into it. He's into it. Some dudes, they give hugs or they give high fives. So, the, so it doesn't always have to be sensual because a high five isn't. But a high five is touch. If he's able to do that, he asks to go out with you outside of your setting. Like I was talking about in the last point, outside of your setting, he wants to... Uh, get to know you outside of this setting. So dates, going to the park, checking out a, a new uh, bar or restaurant down the street from whatever you, your setting is with this person. He's trying to find a way to share your space because he knows if he shares his space with you and it's vice versa and it's, it's, you know, it's consensual, it's permissible, it's wanted, then he know he has a higher chance of getting to know you and eventually expressing his feelings to you. But he has to have that chance. And in order to get that chance, he has to get into your space. Now, like I said, a creep is someone who forcefully gets into your space, uninvitedly, with no permission, disrespectfully, without accounting your feelings into it, right? So those are the differences. But on this topic, we're talking about the man of the opposite way, right? So we're talking about a man who's serious into you. So third, he's trying to get into your space. The fourth sign that a man is low key feeling you is what I call group setting behavior. His behavior when you're in a group setting with him. So that means multiple people. So there's different ways this goes, right? When it, when it comes to group settings. A, he singles you out in group settings. He points his attention to you. And sometimes he wants it to be obvious to others. Now you can see how both creeps and men who are serious about you can use this. And this can go many a ways. But this also doesn't have to be expressed and physical, right? So when a guy singles you out in a group setting, he could just be staring at you or just looking at you and not, you know, creepish staring at you, but just always looking to see what you have to say in the group setting. What's your opinion or your feedback? Or he's just always uh, ready to hear what you have to say because that's also another way for him to get to know you low key. Listening to how you talk, listening to what you talk about, what you're interested in talking about. And when you're in a group, it's easier to have this kind of communication and less awkward for him and sometimes you. B, he's drawn to you in group settings. So kind of similar to A, he's always looking for you to do something. He's probably trying to get to stand next to you or piggyback off of things you have to say. He angles his body towards you in conversation. His head probably snaps to every time you have something to say. So group setting behavior is very important because this is how he can get to know you and be near you without it being so awkward or, or so pressurized because there's more people. And this can also be helpful for the woman because there's people around, you know what I'm saying? Because when it's just one-on-one, -on -one, there's a lot of pressure in that, a lot of tension, a lot of awkwardness maybe. So there's a different dynamic when it comes to groups. And the fifth sign that he 
is low key feeling you is that he actually tells you. It's the simplest one, but it's the hardest one for a lot of men. Because when a man tells you that he likes you, he's putting his ego aside. He doesn't care what people around think. He's made his mind. Usually when a man makes his mind, he's serious about it. And he also knows this is the opportunity that if you reciprocate the same energy that you guys can finally get into a relationship or possibly have some kind of a uh, start to a relationship. But this is the initiation stage. So the semi version of this, a guy who's not you know, 100% ready to tell you, because it depends on how long y'all been talking, how long y'all you know been uh, uh, knowing each other. So you can't really take this approach when you just met someone, right? Because that can get really awkward and uncomfortable. But another way a guy tells you that he's low-key feeling you is he compliments you and pays attention to the things you say or do. Like, wow, you dress so well. What's that scent? I, I really like it. It speaks to me. The way you speak to our organization, I, it does something. Like, it, you're a great speaker. Wow, I don't see a lot of women like you. You compose yourself so well. That's great to see. So there's always some kind of a compliment, a way to, for him to express himself, to express his feelings on the things you do or say or whatever it is. So this is all about expression, respectful expression, because on the flip side of the coin, a creep can use this same thing and just tell you like, oh, you look good. If you look like this, I wonder what your mama looked like. You know what I'm saying? So once again, like I said in the video, you have to be able to decipher and filter men who are not creeps and men who are, all right? So I hope you like and enjoyed my five signs of men who are low key uh, into you. And I look forward to seeing you at my next video. Peace and blessings and good night.